I know that the last year there was a lot of ups, there was a lot of downs. When you come into a new calendar year, it can also be a reset two days off. What does this group want to achieve in the first half of 2024? I think we want to climb. Um, it's tight. You know, it's we play Washington now next, and we're we're tight in points, so it's a big game, and, and it's, it's, they're all going to be big games going forward. Uh, like I said, it's really tight, and so the goal is to, you know, string together some wins, uh, find consistency in our game, and, and uh, you know, I always talked about it last year, is you want to play your best hockey when you get to the end of the year, so that's that's the goal here, and, and, uh, and hopefully we can start on the right foot here. Despite being a rookie, Luke just got his first NHL honor. He was third star of the week for the last week of December. Yeah. As one of his teammates, what have you seen out of his growth this season, and especially in that last week with some big goals to help the Devils win? Yeah, uh, he's uh, he's an awesome player. He's a confident kid, and, and I like that, and and, uh, you know, our job here is to keep his feet on the ground and, and make sure he's working hard And because and uh, I think his potential is, you know, who knows. Uh, I think the sky's the limit for him. And, and so, uh, yeah, real happy for him. Uh, and uh, hopefully he keeps on growing and keeps getting better. Speaking of when you have all these young guys, how optimistic does it make you for the future or even for the present where these guys are developing, particularly on the back end, that will only strengthen the defensive core for the future? Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, they did a great job drafting, obviously. We have a lot of young talent here. But, you know, as, as older guys and, and as teammates for everybody, it's it's a very important that we push push the young guys, push each other. Uh, you know, there's, so to say, we don't... <laughs> We don't want them to feel like, you know, <laughs> we don't want to make them feel like they're the young guys. We want them to step up. We want them to grow into that role and, and uh, so, to say, so to say, mature quickly and, and get better and just find that hunger. Uh, I know sometimes, you know, coming into the league, it's it's either hard to find your footing or, or find your place or, or kind of tiptoe around. But but uh, I think it's important that they come in, they feel confident and, and they feel at home and, and want to get better every day and, and, uh, and help our team. And how important is it for the veteran guys to kind of set that tone? You mentioned keeping them grounded, obviously, like, Holding each other accountable, I guess, yeah. in the room that those of you guys is the leadership group, right? Yeah, there's a right way of doing it and wrong way of doing it, and, and we try to do it the right way where, where it's uh, you know, where it's healthy and, and uh, we we just you know push them, put push. We just know you know I, I personally know probably you know what their potential could be, and, and so I want to make sure that I'm doing my part where, where uh, where I, I try to push them and, and try to compete hard against them in practice and and everybody else uh, that ultimately makes everyone better. So uh, that's kind of that's everyone's job. The Metro Division is so tight, and Washington is a team that this group has played multiple times in the past, you know, 10 months. What are the biggest core fundamental parts of their identity that you've seen this season? Yeah, I think they, they stuffed the neutral zone really well. I feel like that was a problem uh, against them the first two times we played, and they were successful. They had some hot man rushes. They obviously can capitalize. They have a lot of, you know, scores on their team. So it's going to be important that we get through the neutral zone. We get on our forecheck and, and make it hard on them and, and then play fast so that they can't set up. Is it interesting the way, because Capitals used to play much more of a run-gun type style, they are kind of tightening up a little bit in the neutral zone? Yeah, maybe. I mean, when I, I played them in the finals, uh, you know, they, they're still kind of, you know, tight, tight through the neutral zone in a way where then they're really dangerous going the other way. So, uh, you know, it's just they make it look fast, uh, just how they play through that neutral zone. And, and so that, you know, it looks like that sometimes. And, and But like I said, it, you know, you, you'll shoot yourself in the foot if you don't do the right things again. I know typically players don't love to talk about their own individual feats but this past week you were named the NHL's third star of the week it was a great week for you able to score three straight games what was working so well for you in that week um I mean it just came out of the Christmas break energized and rejuvenated and um you know I think uh Johnny does a really good job of getting me the puck and put me in good spots and let me jump up and um you know I think it's just kind of the bounces you know you get some some games and you don't with the other games so um you know it's yeah it's nice I don't know when you look at your game overall in this first half of your rookie season, what are the biggest things that you've seen your own growth with your side of the game? Um, I would say just the defensive side of the game, um, trying to stay locked down and not give stuff up and then, you know, take my opportunities when they're there. But um, definitely not forcing it and, um, you know, just playing the right way. Being able to contribute offensively is a huge thing, especially with someone like Dougie Hamilton, who's out right now. What are you seeing from different blue liners who are stepping up to score goals like yourself or even have some very, really valuable assists? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously you want to score and um, try to contribute and try to help the team win in whatever way you can. And, um, you know, we got a lot of capable D back here, um, a lot of guys that can step in and score. And, um, you know, I think 
we're just trying to get better every day and um, you know, try to win hockey games. That's it. We were talking with Eric about Washington and what makes them so dangerous. And something he was talking about is they really clear, like, clam up the neutral zone. It's hard for teams to get through. What do you all need to focus on, especially with the transition game tomorrow? Uh, probably just not turning the puck over, uh, making hard plays and uh, good decisions in the neutral zone. And uh, that's probably it. And uh, just making sure they they don't. Uh, use our turnovers against us and um, create opportunities. So. And it is the second half of the season, 2024. What's the biggest message that this group wants to show in these next few games as you start things up again after a little bit of a break? Um, I don't know if there's any crazy message. We just got to keep keep going and um, you know try to win as many hockey games as we can, starting with Washington, and just go game by game. Lindy, we didn't see Timo Meyer out there on the ice. Is there an update on him? Yeah, he's just being evaluated won't make the trip, so obviously he won't be playing that game. When you look at this new year, what's the biggest message or the biggest resolution that you all might have as a group heading into 2024? Well, again, just uh, trying to find a level of consistency, really in all three zones, where you know offensively uh, trying to find a group and uh, defensively being locked into you know a better quality of play. Uh, you know, we've had our moments. Uh, obviously, we've been uh, we've been better of late, but I still think we can get better. Luke Hughes was the third star of the week for the NHL last week, fi- final week of 2023. What have you seen out of his growth in this first half of the, his rookie year? I, you know, I think, again, uh, uh, there's times where he shows a lot of confidence for, you know, a first-year guy that um, he wants to make a difference. Um heavily involved in in a lot of a lot of our game you know from the offensive side of it to the power play and uh scored a couple of great goals so you know well deserved but as this team has moved up you know we've talked a little bit about it late in november you had a lot of teams to climb over you were below 500 do you do you start to make a mental note hey we picked off this team we picked off that team i know it's a long way to go but is there some sense of all right that's that's how we're going to get there well, you know, we, we talk about, you know, you, you really have to win like three out of four games, you know, keep winning three out of four games. Uh, um, you know, I guess another area I'd really like to improve is just our, our home play, you know, our home record. Uh, you know, road record is uh, is good where it's at. you got to keep winning road games. But, uh, again, the, you can make up a lot of ground with improving our home record. It doesn't matter now, but does it feel good when you see your passing teams is does the team recognize it hey we've moved a little closer you know i just look around and i look at uh every night there's three point games there's close games that you know teams are picking off each other uh, uh, and the reason you got to win three out of four is to try to separate get out of that pack and uh, you know it feels good to get to where we're at but we know we got a long haul ahead of us uh, curtis lazar was a full participant it seemed like a practice today is he good to go now he should be good to go yeah um Got through the whole practice, looked good to me, so he should be a player. Lindy, what, what happened on, on Timo's injury? Was it reaggravating something that, you know, the previous one that he just dealt with? Or? No, this is a new injury. Um, so he's going to be further evaluated today, and uh, ho- hopefully it shouldn't be too long. Upper body, lower body? Um, kind of medium body. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Something that some of the players talked about when it comes to the Capitals is they clog up the neutral zone. What does your team need to do to fight back against that? We have to play quick. Um, you know, don't allow them to get in their scheme. And, um, you know, I think we've been doing a lot uh, better job of that of late. So, again, uh, be quick to be an out and uh, be quick to enter the zone. Dawson's playing his 200th NHL game. How impressive is it to do that from the start of his career? I, you know, Overall, pretty impressive. You know, when you look at it, uh, to n- to not miss a game. It's, you know, as a young player, sometimes you you go through stretches, and he's had some stretches that, uh, you know, he struggled. Uh, but we've let him fight his way through those struggles to to hit 200. Um, it's a pretty it's a pretty good accomplishment. Is no one put skating yet? Uh, I don't believe so.